Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool continue to receive flack for using the government's furlough scheme for some of their staff. Liverpool's decision to use the government's furlough scheme for some of their staff is bordering on lunacy, according to Reds fan and former Aston Villa striker Tony Cascarino. Liverpool announced on Saturday some members of staff impacted by the suspension of the Premier League will be placed on the scheme. But the decision has received plenty of criticism, as have fellow Premier League sides Tottenham, Newcastle and Norwich who have all taken a similar stance. Cascarino has joined the criticism and says a club of Liverpool's size should not have used the scheme. As a Liverpool fan, I'm upset because the club wasn't built on this, Cascarino told Talksport. I mentioned it with Spurs, and I feel exactly the same way about Liverpool. They can keep this going, they can easily continue paying their staff, they don't need to go to the government yet. It is not a desperate situation. I find it really frustrating that a club of that stature has even attempted to do this. The numbers don't add up. To me, this is wrong. I find their decision, and how quick it was, as bordering on lunacy. Former Liverpool midfielder Danny Murphy is also against the decision and wants it to be reversed. It's hard to imagine how they've come up with this, Murphy told Talksport. Even if the profits haven't been as good as they have been with Liverpool's recent success, the reputation Liverpool has gained over the years by dealing with adversity and the togetherness with the supporters, this stinks. It's grotesque. It's a quick, silly decision based on trying to save a few quid. It's totally against what Liverpool Football Club is, what it's become, and what it's built since Bill Shankly, and I say that with knowledge of what it means to be part of that football club, I can't think there will be any supporters who will agree with this decision. I hope Liverpool change their mind on it and backtrack, because I think they've underestimated the impact of this decision, he added. Any football club in the Premier League who decide to use this scheme is wrong. I'd be shocked if it wasn't reversed. You're talking a maximum £750,000 a month, and even if it was for 6 months or even 12 months. It's not a problem for Liverpool to pay that money. Why should the government pay when football can pay it and look after itself? That government money could be used elsewhere. 